massive search for clues to solve Coomera's bashing murder mystery. Look, we have located a, a lot of things in the house of interest. The grim future of our Broadwater, as imagined by cruise terminal opponents. I think the people understand that they've um, been sold a, a bit of a lie. And how much koala cuteness can we bear? Live from 50 Capital Avenue, Surface Paradise, this is Nine Gold Coast News. A new artist's impression has been unveiled of our Broadwater, complete with a resort and cruise ship terminal. But this design isn't likely to please the consortium behind the proposal. The drawing's release comes as ASF appoints a community engagement officer in a bid to win over Gold Coasters. This is not an official artist's impression by ASF, rather one commissioned by the Save Our Spit Alliance. It believes the consortium's pretty pictures are fanciful and don't reflect what the Broadwater would look like if a resort and cruise ship terminal were to be built on Wave Break Island. We're all for sustainable development and intelligent uh, growth for the city. Uh, we just think that this is not the way forward. The image has been released as a stopwatch runs down to November, when the state government is due to make a final decision on the project. Last week, ASF appointed Tim Poole to Community Engagement Officer a middleman with the public. I'm really looking forward to be able to share new information on this proposal with a, a, a wide variety of people in the Gold Coast. It just seems to be too little too late for them. The state government says it's ASF's responsibility to show there is strong support for the project. The consortium says it's planning another news poll. Save Our Spit says it's planning another rally. We're hoping to get an updated uh, view from across the, the community and across Gold Coast on, on their views and the level of support for the project. I have no doubts that the state government will put an end to this very soon. Uh, but that being said, uh, Save Our Spit won't be sitting idle waiting for that to happen. Brendan Wolf, Nine Gold Coast News. A 60-year-old man injured while walking through Lamington.